Hi friends, <laughs> I'm at our local park waiting for JB to finish his uh, private lesson. So I'm just chilling out here. I don't come out to the park super often. I'd like to change that. <laughs> it does feel good to actually see and be with nature a little bit. But I do want to update you on some of my reading. Um, I finished Oku, which I talked about in my previous video where I hyped up the first volume and gave like a first impressions. I finished Wotokoi volume 2 which is a omnibus of volumes 3 and 4. Fantastic series. I cannot wait to pick up the next volume. I'm very highly anticipating it and I can't wait. <laughs> and then uh, I also read the final volume of Shortcake Cake which is volume 12 by Sue Morishita. So good. I gave it four stars. I think it could have been better. Seeing as how much I love the entire series I highly recommend it. It's so cute, so good, so realistic to dealing with trauma and things that go on in your life. So I highly recommend that series if you're curious. Okay guys, so every day almost, if not most days, I take some bread that we have that's gone bad or leftover pieces of some kind of food like crackers or something, just little remnants of what I have left of things and I feed them to the birds out here because I noticed there was like a few hanging out in the bush that's chilling right there. 
and uh, without showing too much of my neighbor's house, hopefully, um, I'm going to show you them eating because I'm slowly building their trust and I'm trying to save up to get like a decent bird feeder, hopefully, and then maybe they'll take to that whenever I get it. And I come out here, I open this door because it's another part of my house to get to this room and a bird greets me at the door. So that's hilarious. So y'all just enjoy if you can see it. They were a little more shy this time. Weird. Normally it's pretty easy to get them to pop out. Oh, there's one. And he takes it. <laughs> They're so cute. There's like some little sparrows and finches. And uh, there's some kind of black bird that comes out here that has like a orange, bright orange beak. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I don't know bird species. So if you know, let me know in the comments because I'd love to know. And, um... I haven't seen any colorful birds yet. And then I've seen a mockingbird. I think that's what it was. So they're slowly getting the word out that I throw out food. Like I'm starting to get more birds. And uh, I want to get like a nice bird food. Oh, there's three. Oh, they're so cute. They can still see me probably. That might be part of it. I'll try to hide. But um, I want to get some colorful and fun birds out here. And Maybe even some squirrels. Like, I have no problem with feeding squirrels either. As long as, you know, they're not chasing off all the birds. So, yeah. I'm slowly but surely gaining their trust. And they're very sweet and very cute. My ultimate goal, if I'm being honest and selfish, <laughs> is I want them to eventually, like, land on me by accident. Like, on my foot or on my shoulder or in my hand. Like, on my head like I think that would be so cool if one of them just like gets so excited that it just accidentally lands on me so I see a few of them popping in and out they're real shy today but yeah I just wanted to share that with y'all I just want to show y'all what I have to deal with and what JB has to deal with when we're trying to get stuff done on the computer because our son will not allow it. You are forced to pet him because he sits on the keyboard, but it's very sweet. And as long as he doesn't like put his hand or body on the keys, I don't typically mind it. It's pretty precious. It's like, we're doing some work, Herm. We're going to work today. We're working. He's burnt. Mm, but he decided to wake up. It's Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And uh, he usually sleeps in with JB. But JB's still sleeping, which I'll probably wake him up very soon. We'll have some brunch or whatever. I just finished filming a couple of videos. May wrap up and June TBR. So that's exciting. Herm, baby, I gotta do stuff. So right now I'm editing that thumbnail so that I can um, just go ahead and schedule the upload for, I guess, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Monday. Bye, baby. Gotta make you get down for a minute. Bye, baby. I love you. I'm so sweet. So full of cuddles and love. He never wants us to leave his, 
this side, but you're very clingy. I gotta get stuff done. Good morning. Oh, my hair. What is she doing? <laughs> Good morning. How's everyone doing? This is the start of a new reading vlog. I hope you're very excited. I took a tiny, tiny little break from recording. It's uh, it's Wednesday, so I only took like two or three days. But got a new latte today, so I'll show you. It's their, one of their summer drinks. I think it's called the Luau something. It's something Luau. And it's white chocolate, caramel, and coconut. It's pretty good. I told her to make it less sweet. I'd never had it before, but I know their uh, seasonal drinks sometimes be a little bit too sweet for me. So I just went ahead and told her to make it like a little bit less sweet. That's already pretty sweet. So I can't imagine that being like double that. <laughs> uh, I do like sweet drinks, honestly, more than like really stout ones, but sometimes people be, they be tripping. I'm about to go to work. It is 7.42 a.m. Happy Pride Month, by the way, I'm wearing rainbow shirt. I love this shirt. I've been working on a lot of screen printing things. I want to show you guys that next time I work on it, which is probably tonight if I don't get too busy on other things, but I'm very excited about it. It's it's an art project I've always wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. I would draw up t-shirt ideas and now I have the skill like the knowledge how to do it from college, but I never had the money to invest in the equipment and so uh, fairly recently I saved up enough to buy myself a decently professional one screen setup. So I'm doing like one color prints for now and if I ever get enough money I'll buy like a six screen setup or whatever, you know, one day. That's the goal is to have space and money to do that. But for now I have my one screen and uh, I'm gonna try to learn techniques on how to do multiple colors on that screen with t-shirts because I do mainly want to do t-shirts. I could probably do prints if I wanted to but I want to do t-shirts. But yeah, I took pictures of my first one and right here is what it looks like. I'll be sure to put it up here and I have it listed in my Etsy shop if you want to purchase it and if it hasn't sold already I doubt it has because it's my first one but uh, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested and uh, because it is a first like real t-shirt print there are a couple of little flaws with it that I'm working to you know improve my technique I list them in the description so you can be sure to read about it there and if you're not okay with those flaws that's fine you don't have to buy it you know free will and all that but I did want to try to sell it because it doesn't fit me. <laughs> I did try it on and it was just a little tight in the chest area. So uh, I put the measurements and everything there just in case someone else was lucky enough to fit it. So yeah, I gotta go to work before I'm late. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day. So it's been a minute since I have told you guys what I'm reading. It's been a very uh, busy week. We have some friends that were supposed to come over tonight, it's Friday, but they are delayed and are coming tomorrow morning and we'll be staying until Sunday or Monday, do you remember? They'll be staying until Monday morning. Okay, so I'm reading tonight. Uh, currently I am this far into um, page 112 of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, book three never read it before also monster volume one i think these are the perfect editions by naoki urasawa it's really good i'm about a little bit less than halfway through but i am slowly reading through it it's an older style and uh has a lot of medical terms in it so i'm trying to pay attention and take it slow so that i'm not just blazing through it and missing facts then i'm reading Volume three of Wotokoi, Life is Hard for Love is Hard for Otaku. I always say life. This is by Fujita. And I need a million volumes of Wotokoi. But today I found out there's only going to be five or six, I think. Unless I misread it and it's actually going because it's supposed to be eleven. But I think that's not including that we get them in two two first. So I think that would be like five or six volumes, but maybe they meant 11 of these. That would be awesome. That's what I want, but I am not expecting that. It's so good, y'all. If you are a shoujo fan, but you want something a little older, like let's say Jose, if you know the words, cause I'm learning them very slowly. An older woman, an older adult romance. 
Not so much sexual, because there's nothing really like that going on, at least not yet. But just like not so drama heavy. It's it's more realistic and funny and cute. It still has those like little swoony cutes like <laughs> moments. They're all otaku and nerds and I love them all very much. These characters are awesome and I need to quit flipping because I'm gonna spoil something. So I'm gonna continue reading this. I think that's what I'm in the mood for right now. I need something to pick up the spirits because I'm feeling kind of poopy in the physical parts of the bodies at the moment and I don't feel great. So I'm gonna read some happy things and I hope you're reading some happy things. Maybe having an ice cream or a cookie or a snack of some sort because I had a blast from Sonic with Snickers if that tells you what's going on. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>